I will talk in this video about uh, how lucrative is career in uh, risk management. So, uh, if you want to work in risk management uh, for for banks or insurance companies, you must be aware of the details about the pros and cons of this career. And uh, some people think it is uh, a career having uh, a lot of pros uh, some people think that you actually saturate after a while so it's not a very good career but i will uh, talk about the details and then you can then make an informed decision um so uh, so a bit about uh, career in risk management right so if you're working in risk management you're working in banks or a financial service company or you're working in insurance companies or, or a fintech company and you have a background in accounting economics finance quantitative research or you may be from a completely different educational background you have a background uh, educational background in liberal arts or in hard science such as physics or maths or engineering um, but this is a profile which is very technical in the sense that you will be writing code you will be developing models uh, you will have to understand finance accounting in detail uh, so this is a bit technical profile um, and uh, if you have a technical bent of mind you will find this uh, profile very interesting right so it's uh, intellectually challenging actually uh, like with uh, any career it has got pros and it has got cons as well i'll discuss both uh, first thing first uh, it offers very good salary uh, in my experience, I think some of the uh, highest professionals are from the risk management department uh, within the bank. Uh, although this can be disputed because uh, people think that if you are close to the business, you are likely to make more money, especially as a fresher in the starting level salary. The salaries are quite good. Uh, it saturates actually after a while, after 10, 15 years of experience, but the entry level salaries are quite good. Um, and then there is high entry barrier that means not everyone can enter risk management uh, you you are required to have good education from good universities uh, to end to be able to enter uh, and start career in risk management for banks so the competition is therefore a bit less after you enter right so before you enter to get your first job that's difficult but after that uh, you will always be in demand Many of your skills are transferable. That means, uh, from a risk management department, you can move to other departments within the within the bank uh, consulting firm or insurance company. You can uh, work as a trader. You can become an IT person. You can work for the business directly. Uh, you can work for the audit team. So your skills are useful in many areas. So you have lots of uh, career opportunities there. You're close to business so at least uh, on paper you you're close to business you talk to business very often so you know you can move to business and have a career in business uh, you can somebody who can have a client facing role um, after you have spent a couple of years in risk management department and your skills will still be valuable there okay but um, make sure that you make this move early on you don't have to wait 10 years for that because after you are like you know very experienced then it will be very difficult for you to move to other departments uh, the market is actually so big because uh, you have banks in all uh, economies all countries you have foreign banks domestic banks uh, you know the challenger bank the new age uh, tech banks newer banks so opportunities is uh, are actually uh, just too many um, so there is a skill gap, demand and supply gap in the in the employment market, um, and your skills are difficult to find in the job market in almost all countries uh, because the, of the technical nature. Uh, if you have some experience, then you will always be in demand. Your skill will always be in demand. The sector is ever gain because the economy cannot function without uh, uh, without uh, banking, right? Um, and no innovation can. Uh, disrupt banking easily I mean some companies are trying that but they're not very successful so you will never have a Nokia moment in banking because uh, not uh, e it is not easy to get a banking license it requires uh, years of trust and uh, the, the oldest banks who have got who have uh, created trust for themselves 
for uh, decades will just not go bankrupt or just not close down so from a job security point of view it is also good quite good actually um and uh, you do a lot of regulatory work uh, so regulatory work always get uh, gets priority within the bank so you will always w- have work to do so it is very unlikely that uh, financial regulation will go away that's never going to happen so these are the good things about a career in risk management uh, it's also quite technical so if you are a technical person you will enjoy this uh, this kind of work and then you have also some uh, demerits as well um you will always work in banking very rarely have i seen people moving from banking to e-commerce manufacturing aviation to tourism uh, this almost never going to happen uh, so you will be a banking person you will be a specialist in risk management and you will not find risk management departments in other sectors that's also a problem uh, you are not a business person actually right you do not manage profit and loss so although you are close to business you can move to a career in business but it's not like you are managing profit and loss so you will not get a um, bonus uh, or your bonus will be less and uh, your career growth is also limited unless you really want to make a move from risk management to business that's a different thing uh, but if you really want to be in risk management you want to stay there for a very long time then after a while you will realize that you are also doing a back office work you are you are working for the cost center not for the profit center um and regulatory work is not always interesting um it may be intellectually challenging but it could also be mundane sometimes and that's not uh, always interesting so it could also frustrate you sometimes and you you will feel saturated after a while after 15 20 years you will not feel like you are learning anything new uh, your career is growing um, that is a time either you become an executive and not everybody will become executive many people will remain at a senior analyst or a super senior analyst level uh, after like you are a super duper expert in one or more than one area and then you will have no clue where to go next having said that uh, it's still a lucrative in my opinion uh, career your skills will always be in demand um, if you search uh, job sites you will always find openings uh, for risk management people in uh, uh, on various job sites whether it's linkedin or indeed or e financial career uh, your skills will always be in, in demand it's a highly skilled job because remember one thing as a risk management expert you need to be uh, good in writing in speaking in all kinds of soft skill you also should have knowledge about finance and accounting you should be able to understand numbers so you must be quantitative you should be able to write code and you will not find people having skills in in these many areas right so you will therefore be uh, in demand uh, consulting companies will also be looking for you so many consulting firms uh, the big four ones uh, even the strategic consulting firms such as mckinsey and bain they will also uh, be looking for you because um, they also work for banks so your skills will be demand so if you feel saturated after 10 15 years you can make a move to consulting right there you will be working for the front office right you will be um making money for them instead of working for a cost center you will be working there for a profit center so you can make a move it's intellectually challenging uh, satisfying it goes without saying any financial any role in in banking and finance in my view is intellectually challenging and definitely yes for in risk management you will be learning a lot of things about finance risk management products and so on and so forth uh, something that you might have studied in your uh, bachelor's degree or master's degree uh, in a finance degree or economics degree it's a less stressful career actually uh, some people might dispute that some people might not agree to that but in my view it is lot less stressful compared to say uh, career in other fields i've seen you could become a senior management also right uh, it's not like uh, you are providing it support where your role actually uh, you know there is a saturation after a point you can never become a cto because your skills are not as good as uh, you know what is required to be a cto or you will never become a ceo many risk management people have gone on to become directors board of uh, you know board of uh, member of the board uh, even have become ceos 
or banks and and so on many fintechs are coming up so even if you are at a middle level uh, mid management level you can become a ceo a cro a cfo in uh, fintechs uh, another good thing is that many other companies are also starting uh, non banking financial companies also now they starting risk management departments so it's likely that uh, the enterprise risk management uh, department will be mainstream it will be found in almost all kinds of companies uh, if that happens then you will have even more opportunities so there are some of the good things why this career is lucrative if you have questions please let me know